In the highly anticipated third season of House of the Dragon, fans are eagerly awaiting the appearance of several new dragons that will take center stage in the escalating conflict. Among these dragons are Sheepstealer, Grey Ghost, and Tessarian, each with their own unique characteristics, histories, and roles in the Targaryen civil war known as the Dance of the Dragons. Let's delve into what we can expect from these formidable creatures and their riders. 1. Sheepstealer Sheepstealer is one of the most intriguing dragons to emerge during the Dance of the Dragons. Known for its wild and untamable nature, Sheepstealer earned its name from its tendency to hunt sheep, much to the chagrin of shepherds in West Eros. With scales of a deep, muddy brown, Sheepstealer is not as visually striking as some of its more colorful counterparts, but its raw power and fierce independence make it a force to be reckoned with. Sheepstealer's appearance is rugged and formidable. Its scales, dark brown and mottled, give it an earthy, almost camouflaged look, ideal for blending into the mountainous terrain it often roam. Its eyes are a piercing yellow, with a predatory gaze that could strike fear into the hearts of anyone who dared approach. The dragon's wings are vast and leathery, with a slight tinge of red near the tips, hinting at the fiery wrath it could unleash. The dragon's roar is said to be deep and resonant, echoing across the valleys like thunder. In the books, Sheepstealer becomes bonded with Nettles, a lowborn girl who wins the dragon's trust by bringing it sheep to eat every day. However, in the series, there is speculation that this storyline might be altered. There are rumors that Rena Targaryen, the daughter of Daemon Targaryen and Lena Valerian, could be the one to ride Sheepstealer instead. This change would bring a significant shift to the narrative, potentially omitting Nettles' story altogether and providing Rena with a more prominent role in the conflict. Such a deviation from the source material could offer a fresh take on the character dynamics, particularly if Rena's bond with Sheepstealer is used to highlight her struggle to find her place within her powerful family. Rena's potential partnership with Sheepstealer could add depth to her character, portraying her as more than just a princess of noble birth. It would show her resilience, her ability to connect with a creature as wild and untamable as Sheepstealer, and perhaps even her struggle to prove herself within the Targaryen legacy. This storyline could serve as a powerful contrast to her twin sister, Baylor, who rides Moondancer, a dragon of a very different temperament. 2. Grey Ghost Grey Ghost is another dragon fans are eager to see on screen, albeit for a much shorter appearance. This dragon is notoriously elusive, preferring to avoid human contact and live in solitude. Named for its pale grey scales that blend seamlessly with the mist and clouds, Grey Ghost is a spectral presence in the skies above Dragonstone. Its appearance is ghostly and ethereal, with a thin, wiry frame compared to other dragons. Grey Ghost's wings are vast, but its body is lean, almost skeletal, giving it a spectral, otherworldly appearance. Its eyes are a pale, icy blue, and it's often described as appearing almost translucent against the backdrop of a cloudy sky. Despite its elusive nature, Grey Ghost's fate in the Dance of the Dragons is tragic. The dragon's only significant appearance in the series is likely to be its final one. Grey Ghost is set to face a brutal end at the claws and jaws of Sunfire, the dragon ridden by Aegon II Targaryen. Sunfire, known for its resplendent golden scales and unmatched ferocity, will catch Grey Ghost unawares and devour it in a brutal display of dominance. This scene, while brief, will underscore the ruthlessness of the Targaryen civil war, where even the most peaceful creatures are not spared from the carnage. Grey Ghost's death will serve as a stark reminder of the indiscriminate destruction wrought by the conflict. The inclusion of Grey Ghost, even in a minor role, adds a layer of tragedy and reinforces the chaos of the Dance of the Dragons. It also highlights the contrast between the various dragons, some like Grey Ghost, who seek solitude and peace, and others like Sunfire, who are instruments of war and destruction. This dynamic adds to the overall narrative of the series, showing that not all dragons are born for battle, but all are ultimately caught up in the storm of war. 3. Tessarian. Tessarian, often referred to as the Blue Queen, is one of the youngest dragons to join the fray in the Dance of the Dragons, yet she plays a significant role in the conflict. Ridden by Prince Daeron Targaryen, Tessarian is a dragon of striking beauty and power. Her scales are a deep cobalt blue, shimmering like sapphires in the sunlight, and her wings are a lighter shade of blue, almost silvery at the edges, which catch the light as she soars through the sky. Her eyes are a brilliant shade of gold, 
contrasting sharply with her blue scales and giving her an almost regal appearance. Tessarian's flames are said to burn hot and bright, with a bluish hue that distinguishes her fire from that of other dragons. Despite her youth, Tessarian is fierce in battle, with a strong bond with her rider, Dayron. Dayron, the youngest of Queen Alicent's sons, is brave and skilled, and his partnership with Tessarian makes them a formidable duo on the battlefield. Tessarian's relatively smaller size compared to dragons like Vaga or Caraxes allows her to be more agile in the air, making swift, deadly strikes against her foes. In the Dance of the Dragons, Tessarian will play a crucial role in several battles, showcasing her ferocity and Daren's growing prowess as a dragon rider. Her most significant moment is likely to come during the Battle of Tumbleton, where she will face off against opposing forces, proving her mettle and leaving a lasting impact on the course of the war. Tessarian's story, however, is bittersweet. Despite her strength and the fierce loyalty between her and Daron, the brutal nature of the Dance of the Dragon spares no one, and Tessarian's fate is sealed as the war progresses, adding yet another layer of tragedy to the conflict. Tessarian's participation in the Dance of the Dragons is not just about her strength and beauty, but also about the emotional impact she will have on Daron and the audience. As one of the youngest dragons, her involvement in the war is a reflection of the youthful ambition and the tragic loss of innocence that the Dance of the Dragons represents. Her inevitable fate will no doubt leave a mark on viewers, making her one of the most memorable dragons in the series. As House of the Dragon delves deeper into the Dance of the Dragons, the introduction of these new dragons, Sheepstealer, Grey Ghost, and Tessarian, promises to bring even more intensity, drama, and spectacle to the series. Each dragon carries with it a unique story and emotional weight that will undoubtedly leave a lasting impact on the characters and the audience alike. As these majestic creatures take flight, they remind us that in the world of West Eros, even the most powerful beings are not immune to the tragic consequences of war. Get ready to witness their grandeur, their battles, and their fates as the dance of the dragons continues to unfold in the fiery skies of West Eros. Stay tuned for more epic moments, heart-wrenching losses, and the unyielding struggle for the Iron Throne. If you enjoyed this deep dive, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join our channel for more content like this. Your support means the world to us, and if you'd like to go even further, consider supporting us on Patreon, where you can access exclusive content and behind-the-scenes insights. Until next time, brace yourselves, because the dragons are coming.